Only you can prevent wildfires by using Campco's Big Red or Little Red Campfire. Stay tuned to learn more. As the West Coast suffers from wildfire after wildfire and traditional campfires are no longer allowed, what's a girl camper to do? The easy solution is to get one of Campco's portable propane campfires. Hi everyone, this is Catherine Goja, your Northern California chapter guide. So excited to be here with you today because I just got my new Campco Little Red Fire Pit. So we're going to pop it open now so you can check it out and we'll get it going. It's getting dark here at camp so it's just absolutely perfect. First of all, my awesome knife that was my grandfather's. I always like to bring him camping with me. I bring things from my dad and my mom's. <laughs> I always feel like I have my people with me whenever I'm out and about in the world, right? I'm excited about this. So I'm in California and I'll be straight up honest with you what's motivating me is we for the last two years have been having so many issues with wildfires I'm hoping to convince you to start using propane fire pits instead of having regular campfires. Now, I know that it's not the same because I grew up camping. I absolutely love sitting around the campfire in the morning with my coffee. And then also at night, of course, it's in our DNA, right? To sit around the campfire and tell stories. But here's the thing. I actually help with one of our local campgrounds and even if it's 80 degrees outside in the mountains, people build huge campfires, much bigger than what they actually need. And they don't put their fires out a lot of times. I think you'd be shocked if you knew how many people leave their campfires smoldering. The other thing, I talked to Cal Fire inspectors just today, as a matter of fact, and I asked them if they anticipated more restrictions next year, or if they anticipate that we're going to be able to have campfires in the state and national parks and they said yes they thought we would still be able to have campfires but that there would be more restrictions so with that as a backdrop let's see what we have here yay it's not a little red campfire it's a big red campfire yay loving the box the perfect anytime campfire. And isn't that so great? Oh, look at, can you see the little campfire graphics? I love stuff like that. You know, my Jeep is red, so I have to say I'm already loving this. All right, let's pull this thing out of here. So we have the box with lots of information on it. I like that. So what I'll be doing later is reading everything that's on the box. Then we have our Campco portable propane campfire instructions, which I'm sure are filled with a lot of warnings. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. That's awesome. Little clamps, here we go. There's three clamps. And the Campco website right on the back so that if you end up having any questions, I'm gonna pull the lid. Looks good. Guess I'm just gonna tear right into that. Oh, would you look at this? It's our little fake wood. Expect that. That's really cute. You know, I have friends who have fireplaces in their house that are gas, and um, this is actually more realistic looking than some of the fake wood in their fireplaces. All right, what do we have here? Excellent. So this has a little slot in it, and there's a little propane hard hose that that sets down over and then that sets there okay so far so good here we go here's where the magic happens right now 
right away I can tell you I like the length of this hose because that helps us keep our propane a good distance away from the actual fire when it's going, right? So let me extend this for you. Right? Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so this is why I think it's kind of fun to do unboxing videos so that you can discover the product with me. I was anticipating that this little fire pit, I mean this big red fire pit, would use the little green canisters. It's not. The regulator on this is sized for the larger propane tanks. So I'll come back on screen when I have that tank with me set up, ready to go. I'll see you soon. I really like the design of this product. This self-storing carrying case, yes, it's attractive, super cute, but also it's really sturdy. It's got that built-in handle and latches in three places for easy transport and storage. The amount of propane you'll burn in an hour depends on how high you set the flame with that built-in regulator. As soon as I got my eyes on this fire pit, I realized how easy it would be for me to take it everywhere. The size, shape, and weight of this portable campfire makes it very easy to move it from location to location, even after you've set up camp. I really put it to the test at this sweet boondocking spot on National Forest land. As the sun came up, it was 42 degrees. Brr, I was cold. That feels good. I kept the flames low on this morning because the winds were coming up. In fact, the power had been turned off back at my cabin. I haven't had a campfire at home for more than two months because of these crazy wildfire situations. And then I realized this propane fire pit is the perfect solution. Much safer, no sparks, no ash, and I'm back to enjoying the evening outside. I'll put links for both fire pits and some accessories in the video description. Be sure to get your big or little red campfire so you're prepared for next camping season and to be sure you're doing your part to help prevent wildfires. I invite you to follow the Girl Camper Northern California chapter page. And if you're here in California, please feel free to join our group. Thanks for watching. I sure do appreciate it. And I'll see you around the propane campfire.